In this module, we'll be seeing a word problem based on speed, distance, and time. A very interesting sum based on walking and cycling. Let us take up the question. And the question is this, problem set 2, 30th main question, sub-question number 20. Let us read the question. From the same place, at 7 a.m., A started walking in the north at the speed of 5 kilometers per hour. After one hour, B started cycling in the east at the speed of 16 kilometers per hour. At what time they will be at a distance of 52 kilometers apart from each other is a question. Right? At what time means the question is about time. But before getting into what is to be found, you understand when we read the problem, there was something called north and east. There are directions in the sum. So let us understand directions over here. Now suppose this is a ground. North and east. North and east directions were mentioned in the sum. North and east are two perpendicular directions we understand. Right? Now let us read the problem part by part, step by step. Right? From the same place. Suppose the place is this. O. From the same place. At 7 a.m. At what time? 7 a.m. A started walking in the north. A started walking in which direction? North. Means he went upwards. At a speed of 5 kilometers per hour. So what is the speed of that A? 5 kilometers per hour. Right? Then, what else is said? After 1 hour, A started at 7 a.m. After 1 hour, after 1 hour means what time? After 1 hour means at 8 a.m. After 1 hour means at 8 a.m. B started cycling in the east with the speed of 16 kilometers per hour. East means which direction? This direction. B started cycling in the east, this direction. With the speed of how much? 16 kilometers per hour. So what is the speed of B? 16 kilometers per hour. Right? Now let us understand this problem with the help of an animation. Right? Now, at 7 a.m., A started walking in the north and at 8 a.m., B started cycling in the east. Question asked is, at what time they will be at a distance of 52 kilometers apart from each other? So, at what time the distance become between A and B will become 52 kilometers is the question asked. Is the question clear? At what time? At 7 a.m., A started. At 8 a.m. B started. At what time? They will be at a distance of 52 kilometers apart from each other is a question asked. At what time the distance between A and B will become 52 kilometers is a question asked. Right? So if you can see this is a right angled triangle. So let us draw the right angled triangle AOB. Right? Now the speed of A is 5 kilometers per hour. Speed of B is 16 kilometers per hour. And the distance between A and B is 52 kilometers. This much we have understood. Right? Now let us tabulate this data, whatever we know. First is A and next is B. Now, time, what time? What is the time taken by A? What is the time taken by B? Let us find out that. At what time A started walking? A started walking at 7 a.m. Right? And at what time B started cycling? B started cycling at 8 a.m. Right? Now, we know this. The question is about time. So time, one of them has to be x and what is the other, let us see. The question is about time, right? A started walking at 7 a.m. and B started cycling at 8 a.m., we know. And we also know that the distance between A and B at some time is 52 kilometers, right? The question asked you is at what time the distance between A and B will become 52 kilometers? Suppose at 11 a.m., at 11 o'clock, A and B were at a distance of 52 kilometers apart from each other. Suppose, right? Now, A started at what time? 7 o'clock. And he reached point A at which what time? 11 a.m. B started at what time? 8 a.m. And he reached spot B at 11 only. Because at 11 o'clock, they are at a distance of 52 kilometers apart from each other. So, A started at 7 a.m. and reached spot A at 11 a.m. B started at 8 a.m. and reached spot B at 11 a.m. That means, what do you understand? We understand that A travelled one hour more than B. Yes or no? Whatever time B travelled, A travelled one hour more. If B travelled for 5 hours, then A travelled for 6 hours. 
one hour more. That means if B traveled for X hours, A traveled for how many hours? X plus one hours. Now since we don't know the time taken as A of A and B, we will assume let the time taken by B to reach spot B be X hours. So time taken by A will be automatically one hour more because he traveled one hour more. So it will be how much? X plus one hours. So time is clear. Now next, we know the speed of A. What is the speed of A? 5 kilometers per hour. We know the speed of B also. How much is that? 16 kilometers per hour. Since we know time, since we know speed, we can calculate distance. Distance is nothing but speed into time. So distance is nothing but speed into time. So speed of A is 5 into the time taken by A is x plus 1. So 5 into x plus 1, so many kilometers. Similarly, we can find out distance traveled by B also. Distance traveled by B will be nothing but again speed of B will be 16 kilometers per hour into time taken by B will be nothing but x hours. So 16 into x, 16x kilometers. Now since we know both these distances, distance covered by A, distance covered by B, also we know distance between A and B, 52 kilometers. So let us put these distances in the place of distances, right? So all the three distances we know, we know OA, we know OB as well as we know AB, right? Now, if you see this triangle, this triangle AOB is nothing but a right angled triangle. That means in this right angled triangle, how to form an equation connecting all these three? We can use Pythagoras theorem. In right angled triangle AOB, by Pythagoras theorem, we can write OA square plus OB square is equal to AB square. Let us put the values of OA, OB and AB. OA square means 5 into x plus 1 the whole square plus OB square means 16x the whole square is equals to AB square means 52 square, right? We got the equation. How to solve it, we will see in the next module. Thank you.